Based on a novel by Nicholas Searle, The Good Liar is a literate and pretty enjoyable showcase for two wonderful British actors, Helen Mirren and Ian McKellen. Don't you find it's always the same? You mean the anticipation followed by the letdown? But I tell myself, brace up, this time it will be different. Which is why I must now confess to you a deception in my part. Set in London in 2009, the film begins as these two senior citizens, Roy Courtney and Betty McLeish, both widowed, are using a dating service, a system for mismatching the delusional with the hopeless, as Roy sarcastically notes. Roy, it immediately becomes clear, is a con man. That's the setup, and the audience is in on the joke. Betty is clearly going to be Roy's next target. She's comfortably well off, and she's obviously lonely. And Roy is so charming, so English. American director Bill Condon, whose CV covers a wide range of subjects, from Gods and Monsters, also with McKellen, to the recent Beauty and the Beast, handles the intriguing elements of the plot with assured confidence. And with actors like these on top form, there's never a dull moment. The problem lies in the basic material. It's all a little bit predictable. Most viewers will surely be several steps ahead in this drama of betrayal and deceit, but still there's a great deal to enjoy as the dense plotting works itself out. Mirren and McKellen are clearly enjoying themselves hugely and have a few smart lines to deliver. It's like being smothered in beige, complains Roy about living with Betty, and we can see what he means. There are also a few moments that provide mild shocks. I'm giving the good liar three and a half stars.